Remember that although we offer solutions to an error you are receiving, our solutions might not perfectly fix your bugs every time. If your errors persist, do not panic. First try the following steps. Search our other debug videos for additional help. Leave us a comment explaining your problem in complete detail. Search the official Unity sites for more help. And finally, search Google for other possible solutions. Enjoy the video. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer for another quick debugging tutorial in Unity. Now the error message that we're going to be talking about in this video is this error message that I'm receiving in my console window. And this error is just another null reference error exception. Now I've done tutorials in the past on how to fix this error, but in that video I only showed one example of me receiving this error. And so I thought it would be good for you to see another example of a null reference exception error and how to fix it. Now this type of error is what we call a runtime error, which means that you're able to compile and play your game, but somewhere in your game the logic isn't working properly. Now a null reference exception most commonly occurs when you have a variable that's been set to null, but then you're trying to access or use that variable in a way as if it had a value other than null. Now as you can see, I've been trying to update my Liars Dice game and get it ready to release on Android and iOS. By the way, if you're watching this video, by now my game should be available on Android and iOS, and if you'd like to, you can download it. I've left links in the description below. Well, let's go and have a look at the code in which this error is occurring. Now most of the time when you're receiving an error message in your console, you should be able to double click on that error message and it will take you to the exact line in your code in which this error is occurring. And so here you can see that it took me to line 188 in my level script. Now don't pay attention to the name of my script because this was my very first game and I didn't really know what I was doing. But here in this line we're creating a local variable which is of type string and it's called hit tag and I'm setting it equal to hit.transform.tag. Now you might recognize what I'm doing here as what's called a raycast. And so I have this function called selecting function, which is being called in my update function whenever I click the left mouse button. And so what's happening in this function is we're doing a raycast to click on all the different objects in my game scene. Then we're using the switch statement to do different things based on the tag of the object our raycast collided with. Now this script works really well if you want to click on 3D objects in your scene, but now with Unity's UI system and with their old GUI system, there was never really a need to build a menu system out of 3D objects. But that's pretty much what I was doing for my first game because at the time I didn't know anything about Unity's GUI system. Now the problem with this line of code is that it relies on having colliders to click on, but what happens if you click where there isn't a collider and your raycast just goes out into the void? Well eventually the raycast will fail to return a hit object and so since our hit variable is null that means our transform is null and that also means that our tag is null. Now if the hit variable is null it wouldn't throw any error to save that null value into what's called a raycast hit. So it's perfectly fine to take a null variable and save it into another variable, but what actually throws the error is when you try to use the dot operator to access a part of that variable that doesn't exist. So accessing dot transform of a null variable is actually okay because the transform of a null variable is null, but when you try to access a member variable such as tag or maybe even a member function, this is when it's going to throw a null reference exception error. And the reason why it throws a null reference exception is because the term tag doesn't exist in the context of a null value. So that would essentially be like me just typing in a bunch of jargon and then trying to save that without declaring it as a variable. When I save this and I go back to Unity, I'll then receive this error message that says, the name AFDF doesn't exist in the current context. And so for something like transform, the term transform still exists in the context of a null value. But when you try to access something more complicated like tag or a member function, then it's going to throw a null reference because those things don't exist in the context of that null value. 
Now the easiest way to fix this null reference exception in the context of a raycast is to first check to see if the hit value returned from your raycast is not equal to null. If it's not equal to null, then you can continue on with your function. But if it does equal null, then you'll probably just want to return right there. And so up here before I set my hit tag variable, I'm going to create an if statement. And I'm going to check to see if hit.transform equals equals null. And then inside this if statement, I'm just going to return right here. Now it's not always the best practice to just check to see if something is null or not in order to avoid null reference exceptions because you might have a variable that is essential to your gameplay and requires a value. Using an if statement like this would then just bypass the problem and allow it to happen. But in this example, it's very likely that a player could click where we don't have a collider placed and then the raycast would just go off into the void. We don't want that to throw an error and break our game. And so we want to allow that to happen. And so we're going to bypass this error message. So now I'm going to save this script and go back to Unity. I can then clear the console and I'm going to click play. All right, so the way that I had this set up was that a raycast would be sent out from my camera to wherever my mouse is positioned in the game view. Now in my game scene, each of these text objects have a collider component attached to it. And so if my raycast intersects one of those colliders, it won't throw an error. And so if I clicked on one of these buttons, we'll say the roll button, it would then do its functionality. But let's say if I clicked anywhere that didn't have a collider attached to it, we'll say the background, it would then throw an error. But now when I click the background, there are no errors appearing in my console window. So that's everything that I'm going to talk about in this debugging video regarding null reference exceptions in Unity. If you found this video to be helpful, then make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below or join our Discord server. And finally, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date on all our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.